Hi, my name is Hanan Abdullahi. I'm a validation engineer at Texas Instruments Industrial Interface Products. Today I'll be discussing common more transient immunity or CMTI of isolation devices. I'll also demonstrate our test procedure using our high performance ISO 78XX reinforced digital isolator. CMTI is a very important specification for an isolator. Minimum and typical CMTI values are specified in our data sheets. Common mode transient events can cause error during data transmission across the isolation barrier. They can arise from a number of sources, such as motor drives and fast switching nodes. CMTI measures the maximum common mode transient that can be tolerated while maintaining data integrity. It is commonly measured in kilovolts per microsecond. At Texas Instruments, we measure CMTI using a high voltage pulse generator that's able to generate fast transients. This block diagram shows our test setup. In order to isolate the input side of the isolator from the earth ground, a battery is used to power VCC1. The output side VCC2 is powered by a power supply. The high voltage transient pulse is applied to input ground 1 and is referenced to output ground 2. To monitor the high voltage pulse on the oscilloscope, a 100 to 1 capacitor divider is used on the test board. The external attenuation factor of the voltage probe is adjusted accordingly. The input of the isolator is set to logic high or low, and the output is monitored on the oscilloscope. During the test, the slew rate of the transient is increased until change of state at the output is observed. The test is done for positive as well as negative transients. Now let's look at how we measure CMTI on our ISO 78XX reinforced digital isolator. The inputs of the isolator are tied to logic high, and a transient pulse is applied across the isolated ground planes of the test board. The first measurement on the right shows the peak-to-peak -peak value of the common mode voltage. The second one shows the rise time of the poles measured 10 to 90 percent of the signal transition. The cursors are used to measure the slew rate of the poles in the 10 nanosecond window of the signal rise time. The slew rate is increased until change of state is observed. The maximum slew rate at which the output remains high is the CMTI at logic high. As you can see, the output of the isolator remains stable high while sustaining common mode voltage of 1500 volt with slew rate as high as 100 kV per microsecond. The same test procedure is repeated for a negative transient. As in the positive transient case, the output of the isolator remains stable high while tolerating common mode slew rate as high as 100 kV per microsecond. The inputs of the isolator are then set to logic low, and the test is repeated for both positive and negative transients. The maximum slew rate at which the output remains low is the CMTI at logic low. As you can see, the CMTI for positive common mode transient is 100 kV per microsecond. For negative transient, CMTI at logic low is also 100 kV per microsecond. As you have seen, the isolator is immune to common mode voltage of 1500 volt with slew rate as high as 100 kV per microsecond. To guarantee our CMTI performance, we carry out the test over process, operating voltage, and temperature. In this video, I discussed the importance of CMTI and walked you through our test procedure using our high-performance ISO 78XX reinforced digital isolator. Thank you for your time. For more information about Texas Instruments isolation products, visit us at ti.com/iso.